Hello students, uh, how are you? I think all are fine and healthy. Stay at home. Uh, I am your educator, Shailaja Menon. We are going to start our new chapter. So we can uh, do the chapter. Now we are going to study about the animal fiber second part that is silk. Silk is obtained from silk moth or silk worm. The rearing of silk worm for obtaining silk is called sericulture. Silk fibers are also animal fibers. Silk worms spin the silk fibers. Before we discuss the process of obtaining silk, it is necessary to know the interesting life history of silk moth. So life history of silk moth you can see on the screen. The female silk moth lays eggs from which hatch larvae which are called caterpillars or silk moth. They grow in size and when the caterpillar is ready to enter the next stage of its life history called pupa. It first weaves a net to hold itself. Then it swings its head from side to side in the form of a figure of eight. During these movements of the head, the caterpillar secretes fiber made up of protein which hardens on exposure to air and becomes silk fiber. Soon the caterpillar completely covers itself by silk fibers and turns into pupa. This covering is known as cocoon. So you can see all these uh, adult moth, then eggs, then larva as well as the cocoon. Silk fibers are used for weaving silk clothes. The silk yarn or the thread is obtained from the cocoon of silk moth. There is a variety of silk moth which look very different from one another and the silk yarn they yield is different in texture that means coarse, smooth, shiny, etc. Thus, tesser silk, moga silk, posa silk, etc. are obtained from cocoon by different types of moth. The most common silk moth is the mulberry silk moth. So generally the uh, silk moth is nurtured on mulberry tree. The silk fiber from the cocoon of this moth is soft, lustrous and elastic and can be dyed in different colors. Sericulture or culture of silkworms is a very old occupation in India. China leads the world in silk production. India also ranks among the leading silk producing countries. Now we are going to see what are the processes behind this rearing silkworm. You can see on the screen how the silkworm produces the cocoon and the co from the cocoon how the uh, thread is taken. First step is rearing silkworm. A female silkworm or silk moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time. The eggs are at a, the eggs are stored carefully on strips of cloth or paper and sold to silkworm farmers. The farmers kept eggs under hygienic conditions and under suitable conditions of temperature and humidity. The eggs are warmed to a suitable temperature for the larvae to hatch from eggs. This is done when the mulberry trees bear a fresh crop of leaves. The larvae called caterpillars or silkworms eat 
day and night and increase enormously in size. The larvae are kept in clean bamboo trays along with freshly chopped mulberry leaves. After 25 to 30 days, the caterpillar stop eating and move to a tiny chamber of bamboo in a tray to spin cocoon. Small cracks or twigs may be provided in the tray to which cocoons get attached. The caterpillar or silkworm spins the cocoon inside which develops the silk. Processing silk. A pile of cocoons is used for obtaining silkworm. The cocoons are kept under the sun or boiled or exposed to steam. The silkworm separates out. The silk fibers separate out. The process of taking out threads from the cocoon for use as silk is called reeling the silk. Reeling is done in special machine which unwinds the threads or fibers of silk from the cocoon. Silk fibers are then spun into silk threads which are woven into silk clothes by weavers. So these are the steps behind how the silkworms producing cocoons and the cocoons will convert from that the fibers. Uh, are produced and the uh, fibers will be used for spinning the yarn or silk. So this is the life history of silkworm. So I hope all are understood the whole lesson. So there is a summary given in the last part of this lesson. So all the main points uh, which we had discussed is given just to go through that and Try to understand all the main points. Coming days, you will get the worksheet also. So you can uh, do that with the help of you. Thank you. I hope all are fine. Stay at home. Do your work also. Goodbye.